Hey, what's going on, everyone? I uh, wanted to give my initial impressions of this knife I just recently received in the mail. This, of course, being the Three Rivers Manufacturing Atom, which, uh, huge shout out to my buddy Devin. Uh, I would say, like, I've, I haven't really bought many knives um, on the primary market. We'll, we'll say uh, most of the time I'm buying knives on the secondary, but. He was getting in on this more recent drop of the TRM Atom, and I said, "Hey, for you know what it is, <laughs> throw throw my throw my hat in the ring here and uh, pick me one up if you can." So he was able to score me this TRM Atom, and um, honestly, like I, I'm a huge fan of it. I've had a couple you know days now to to mess around with it. Um, you know the the specs on this knife so th this is the box that it comes with which is really cool like i mean certainly this knife is proudly made in the united states you open it up they kind of have this like laser cut foam with this you know thicker foam kind of underneath it you, you can tell that they definitely take pride in the knives that they put out there which is which is awesome like i, I love that about it. it it's really great um the trm atom so it features a three and a half inch blade it's going to be eight and three sixteenths inch overall uh, closed, you're looking at four and eleven sixteenths inch. Um, it weighs a super light three ounces. So again, a three and a half inch blade that weighs three ounces. The steel on this is going to be CPM 20 CV. Um, it features a full flat grind. Um, it has six AL 4V titanium thumb studs. Um, and barrel spacers as well as this pocket clip right here um, The other really cool thing about this is that they make a point on the website to say that it is 100% made in the US with US suppliers like I, I think that that's really cool, but they do have a caveat with that so if you get the carbon fiber version of this like they get their carbon fiber from Lithuania. So I thought that that was funny because it was like this huge asterisk, like, hey, like, you know, certainly the G10 models, everything, all made in America, made in America. But if you go carbon fiber, you're, you're supporting Lithuania, which is uh, whatever. All right, before we jump into my observations of this knife, I wanted to do a few size comparisons. And uh, the TRM Atom, as compared to a Spyderco Spidey Chef looks like that. Also here, I'll do my yeah more recently trusty Microtech Socom Bravo looks like that. And then finally, the the knife that I kind of yeah I want to compare this thing to, and I've kind of posed the question, you know, could this kind of take the place of the Spyderco PM2? So they're they're very similar. Obviously, this. PM2 in this configuration, you know, being, you know, micarta scaled, um, they're very similar knives, and, and I see a lot of the same attributes that have kind of made the PM2 a hit. Um, I'm, I'm definitely seeing that in this uh, TRM Atom. So with that, we will jump into my observations. The first observation that I had upon picking up the TRM Atom was just the the balance and the lightweight nature of this knife again. So we're looking at a three and a half inch blade, but it weighs three ounces. And like the center of balance right there, I mean, it is, it's perfect. It, it's absolutely awesome. I can't say enough good things about it. Um, the next observation was the blade finish. Like I love this kind of stone wash, washed finish on here and to, I don't know, like a little thing that I don't think a lot of people will pick up on, but the badging on this this knife, this Three Rivers, so you kind of get this this emblem here. A lot of times when we see knives of this caliber, etc., they'll kind of just put the the etching on top. So it's not a very like deep laser etched whatever. This one's actually deep into the finish of the knife, and I just love that. Like you can see, it's kind of like a three D Three Rivers depiction or the the logo for this knife and. That's that is really cool. Like it was very impressive to see. I haven't seen that very often in knives. Like without that, and even though it's a very small detail, it, it meant a lot to me. I was like, man, like I, the pride of ownership there kind of shot up when, when I saw this logo here. Can't explain it. Um, the next observation were the the barrel spacers. Like I, 
I love how they're kind of just like, you know, there are, you know, there's certainly three of them here, but you know, it, it does a really good job of bolstering the knife. I love that they went with the barrel spacers as opposed to a full length backspacer or something like that. The other thing can't really, can't ignore it is this pocket clip, this deep carry clip. Um, the fact that, you know, you kind of access the screws for the pocket clip through the clip itself. Again, maybe it, it's not the, the prettiest design in the world, but this is going to be just about the deepest carry clip you you will see on any knife. And, and I think that that's, that's really awesome for what, what this knife is supposed to be. The next observation um, were the scales and realizing that you can go carbon fiber, titanium, etc. Again, Devin and I chose to go with the micarta just because I really have been trying to get away from full full titanium framed knives for sure, just from a sheer weight standpoint. But these micarta scales, like they honestly, like they feel like a pair of jeans. And it's funny, I'll post a picture right here that I actually ended up sending to Devin. I had a couple knives like laid out on this old like cutting board that I used for my knife videos and you know certainly I would put oil on it, beeswax to keep it whatever. I haven't treated this cutting board in years I don't think and um, you know it, it was funny I, I left for a couple hours while I was doing some stuff. This knife kind of <laughs> like, like this on the cutting board it soaked up like years worth of mineral oil and, and I thought that that was really funny like I looked at this I was like oh well I, I own this knife now right like it's she she's not going anywhere but um you know I, I certainly do like I love the micar the micarta on here um I don't know I, I think like it it just kind of like it it feels like well used and funny enough like I mean dissimilarly to Spartaco's micarta this one almost feels like it it's like glue and jeans like it has a very like denim feel to it so if you pick one of these up i'm sorry i ruined it for you but you're gonna be like man i'm, I'm holding on to a pair of jeans the next item worth note is gonna be on these thumb studs and these thumb studs they come with these kind of o-rings that you have to <laughs> very carefully pop over the thumb studs and I don't know, like this is the first knife I've ever seen that has came with O-rings to go over the the thumb studs. Certainly without them, they would be a little bit sharp, but it's just kind of funny to me. Like maybe it was, you know, TRM thinking outside the box, being like, hey, how can we be different with the way we do things? But I don't know. Honestly, like these O-rings to so this rubber on here, I, I'm a little bit, I could go either way, but <laughs> most likely the way I'm going is I would just rather see some nice thumb studs, you know, like chamfer them, like make them so they're, they're comfortable to, to hold. I don't know. And like, you know, I don't want to be as dramatic as to say that like, Oh, I'm going to wear these out or they're going to get dry rotted, whatever. I don't think that that's going to happen, but it was just weird to open up a knife and then be like, Oh, I have to like put these two little O-rings on the, on the thumb studs. Cause that, that's, you know, how this knife comes. The next observation that I had was um, just the sheer sharpness of this knife, like right from the factory. I think, I don't know, it's been a mixed bag recently for like when I buy a knife, like how sharp it will be. But, you know, I can say without a doubt, the, the TRM Atom, this thing comes from the factory hair popping sharp. And, and, and that was, that's really cool. Like I, I really do, I love the blade profile. I would go so far as to say that I like it more than the PM2, it, it's just more usable to me. It, it's not certainly overbearing. It's kind of funny. <laughs> they do post on the TRM's website, like, oh, this isn't a hard use knife. Like it's definitely for slicing, et cetera. Like they've definitely hedged their bets, right? So like they kind of tried to manage expectations on the the website front there, but um, couldn't be happier. Like love the sharpness, love the blade profile for sure. Um, the next observation that I had was just like the liner lock access. And I know that I had talked about it with um, some of the Chris Reeves, so certainly the Sebenza, etc. You know, although maybe aesthetically it takes away from the knife a little bit that you have this like metallic lock bar right here, but the fact that they kind of routed this out so you can get your thumb in here to press it, 
I love that. And there are knives. Like, it's not even like, it's not one of those things that it's like, oh, automatically everyone does this. Like, I have seen knives of a very similar profile that kind of would not recess this side of the scale. So it's it's really nice to see that. Like, they, they thought about, you know, how are people going to be using this knife? Um, you know, what, what do we want to... <laughs> What do we want to do? And and they definitely chose the high road here. Like I love this cutout so that you can access the uh, the lock bar for sure. Um, the next observation that I had, which it doesn't, you know, I couldn't care less. But it, this this knife does not have a lanyard hole, so I'm not a huge lanyard person. But it, if you are, you want some nice like beads, whatever y'all do. Um, it, this won't be the knife. This won't be the knife for you. So kind of, kind of take that into account for sure. All right, and that concludes my observations for the Three Rivers Manufacturing or TRM Atom uh, so far. Again, have not had this for a long time at all, but I, I'm definitely planning on carrying it. Um, if you get a chance, I mean, check out their website. It, it's actually kind of funny to check out like their description and everything, like. I gotta give a shout out to my boy, Bill Yester, who is, according to uh, TRM, a loyal customer who said, this knife, guys, is a folding scalpel. I, I thought that like that quote was so funny. Like, oh, loyal customer, yo, my buddy Bill, <laughs> like, way to go. Um, and, it, and kind of looking at it too, like, I, I thought it was funny, like, so, you know, certainly TRM has a great warranty that comes with their knives. Like, I, I love this. Like, they have a ton of, like, customer appreciation stuff, limited lifetime warranty with it. But their logo, and like, what are you supposed to do with this sticker? It's literally like a Yorkshire Terrier, which I don't know if it's, like, the owner's dog or whatever. But it, it's so funny. I feel like in this day and age, we're always like, oh, like, you know, devils and skeletons and all this. And, like they picked a 13 pound dog that's wielding one of their knives and they're like hey like don't worry about it man like we we got you ty his name his name's ty he's got he's got email that they, they you know spell it out there for you so that was kind of funny to me so i kind of looked at it as like you're man you're kind of like it felt like you're like buying a knife like from your grandma like Rest assured, if you buy for TRM, like it's not gonna be like Medford or anything like that. You're not not worried about any like weird T-shirts or anything. Like there is no toxic masculinity associated with this knife. So if you're like, oh, I don't want to shake the boat, whatever, like go with the TRM, Adam. But no, I, I'm I'm being facetious. Obviously, like this is a great knife. Like I really am looking forward to putting it through its paces and. Um, I think it's a great kind of option here. Like, so the MSRP on this is about $200, which is right on par with the Spyderco PM2. So, you know, if you're kind of, you've been looking at the PM2, but you're like, hey, like what else is out there? US made knives, et cetera. The TRM Atom is a viable option. And although it's not as well known, kind of doesn't have the pedigree of a Spyderco PM2, this thing can can keep up with a PM2, 100%. So more to follow with it, but um, you know, just wanted to give my initial impressions. I definitely appreciate you all tuning in this weekend. I kind of hammered you all with videos, but <laughs> trying to uh, make hay while the sun's shining, so to speak. So uh, appreciate you all tuning in. If you have not yet, please uh, consider liking or subscribing to my channel. Um, I, <laughs> I don't get anything from anyone subscribing except I can... Tell my wife, hey, I have this many subscribers now. You should let me do another video. But no, I really enjoy doing this. So I appreciate y'all tuning in. We will see you next time.